Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders lick their wounds and mourn their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Her plan proved sound. On Bald Mountain, Geralt and Ciri killed Imlarith and two of the crones. Spurred by their success, they resolved to challenge Eredin. It's changed a bit since I last left. Radovid's growing bolder. They say whoever takes Novigrad will take the north. A free city full of riches, tempting prize. Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy morning then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full.
mind if we change the subject? Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. You can count Kira out. I sincerely hope we can contact Philippa and Rita in time. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Guess. In short, she was here. At this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridium band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philip at the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Pass of Flora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Thuir, Robert Michele, Alfelte. Graham et Thuir, Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena a Esclase. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her, at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Guess they underestimated Philippa. You Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going to 
together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no one. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. Which your help? I want to help you. Let me die. Don't go to Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything.
Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever, so very sorry, but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. But what's Philippa got to do with it? Philippa will help us protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt. Go, before I change my mind. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you all right? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be all right? Yeah, thanks for your help. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Thanks. Not really hungry. The customer is king? So long.
Greetings. How's business? Welcome back. And uh, thank you. Not bad. How may I be of help? Care for a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. I doubt her man will ever be sober. Looks like rain. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Still not safe at night. 
The king of beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to hire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. Where you on. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. You're kidding, right? We'll give you ten. Geralt, what are you- Be quiet. You're fucking with fire, git. I don't have to haggle with you. Final offer, faulty. Give you twenty-five. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Ugh, thirty-five's as low as we'll go. Twenty-five's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tram. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! Oh! 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 What do we do? This way! Geralt, quickly! What now? Careful! They could... Follow me. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. Oh, Hugh, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Oh, damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. Wind. 
wolves howling. Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until mid in van. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus. Often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak. Wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Order in the fatherland. Witches of conjured raid. Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your blind business. You need a smack as all it. Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. <laughs> what brings you here, Geralt? Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not, if there's coin in it? Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of maid. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. Ha, ha, 
Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Got a problem with Sucrus? <laughs> I thought mead. I shall import mead. Daft idea for a business. The import duties. My bollocks shrivel at the thought. I paid the bastard what we agreed, less half the duties. And palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. Yeah, I know. I don't have time for this. So long. You. Yeah. Greetings. Here to collect. Coin for Sucrus. Oh yes, I know. But I'll not pay the bastard another copper. Palm trees will sooner sprout in Skellige. I don't have time for this. So long. Beg your pardon? Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or series? Series? As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. 
and the female part of the continent's population will be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! Best run and get him. These humans go wild by the day! Watch where you're going, eh? Walt. Damn it. Scaled the ladder. Guess I'm in for a roof walk. <clears throat> Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh, and then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh. So be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, and get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. Once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins, we'll get into the prison. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. <laughs> See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. 
Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What now? What our friend said about the guards was interesting. Drinking on duty? Zoltan can make sure they have plenty of hooch. Good idea. I'll search for the entrance to the ruins. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. You'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Ah, understood. Free which will tempt any man. But, Geralt, you realize this is a wee bit risky. I do. It's why I'm here. Can only trust you to get this done. All right, leave it to me. I'll think of something. And where might you be headed? To meet Yen. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. I don't get caught. It'd be a crime shame to waste that much Mahakaman. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. What's the hurry, my pretty? Oh! Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Fall into a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standing ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? Show me what you have in stock.
so long. It's never been this bad. They failed to find a way to leave Novigrad, so they made a last hopeless stand. Streetside soothsayers, chiromancers, herbalists and healers. Though townsfolk had always sought their help, they'd never trusted them. Folk generally dislike those privy to their fears and weaknesses. The free city of Novigrad became a trap for all mages. Its merchants, craftsmen, and burghers held their breath when death came for those they despised. And they never expected the mages to take up arms, fight back. Find a way in? Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? Zoltan awaits your signal. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemophart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. No oh, joy. Mechanism's broken. Missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe?
then how to do it. on duty. Who's to say Conditions critical. It's pointless. We'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. Ah, uh, that stench. Sobermen, if they notice me. Spread up to arms! Ladies revolting! Arches on the roof! All of the devastations! <laughs> Stay in formation! 
Shut! Oh, watch out! Not good. What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. <laughs> Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yenna! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on. I'm dying, Diana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt. Yen, for once, don't argue with him. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud.
finally here. Your plan blew ass chunks. Why? As soon as you stabbed at that butchery in the courtyard, they all wanted to run over there. Had to hold them back. Through conventional means. By yourself? All of them? Where are the bodies? Had them in the wagon. Running a tavern with dandelions has given me plenty of practice disposing of corpses. And by the by, you going back with me or got ought to do along the way? Always up for a ride with you. Let's hit the road then! Here we are. Thanks again for your help, Sultan. Always willing, pal. More soldiers, more work. Greetings. Here to collect. Coin for Sucrus. Oh, yes, I know. But I'll not pay the bastard another copper. Palm trees will sooner sprout in Skelliger. I don't have time for this. So long. I beg your pardon? Thanks. 
you can learn a great deal when you grip in a pair of pincers for a while. Black ones, Redanians, <laughs> long as they play and don't hit. <sighs> Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have... Mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels? That is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me, not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Ow! It's ow! Oh! Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. The passage is here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree.
Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Just keep coming.
those clouds or bolt through them. was a certain grouchy elven sage. It snows up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing.
Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than yours. Oh! Who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana, Spain, Ab Coman Maka, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL Elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up.
I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Aniromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Margofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Alia will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice. Some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin, and that is quite a lie. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. I'm curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. 
So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Here I thought we could do this the nice way. Out of the way, you louts! Or we'll cut up your mug so the girls at Cripple Kate's won't even have you. What do you say? Didn't understand? Too many syllables? Fuck off! Oh, you little bitch! You say Geralt? Geralt who? A fucking Rivia. Well, why did you say that from the get-go? Sorry to hassle you, misunderstanding that. Mr. Wiley's expecting you. That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Do do? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's play. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo doo. God! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr. Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. 
they'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Doodoo. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Shows an interesting line of business. Doodoo's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? I see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. Oh. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalar was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. your chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village, dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. 
That Geralt? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Siri, didn't you have something to take care of? Right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. And what about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Hagar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Provided we can find the animals to carry us. Two of our horses dropped on the way. Another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You're trailing! Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Haha, <laughs> seems you've slowed. 
just want to admire you from the side. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race! Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If, that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Now, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. And what do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalach will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain, whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for. But it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. Pah, lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. What can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables.
Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Eternal fire protects us. Gives monsters the shits. Geralt? Inside. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. Wake them.
Here's the key. Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Who would like more wine? Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. At first, I thought it would jest. Prepare for battle! You shall not have it easy this time! Broad friends? Huh. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too? No! No, no, they defend justice! For it is only fair you face a threesome! Is that so? Yes! For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir! You never revealed yourself to be a witcher! You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two, but I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah. We're done here. What do you want? Greetings. Here to collect. Coin for Sucrus. Oh, yes, I know. But I'll not pay the bastard another copper. Palm trees will sooner sprout in Skelliger. Palm trees have sprouted on Skelliger. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way.
mail ship hasn't made port either. It hasn't and never will. You've got to on your side. I handsome. I'm drink all I had. Why is your hair so Ramen supper. Why, King? Why your hair? Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. I've yet to thank you for your help with Tin Boy. I never dreamt I could get away with paying so little. I have something for you. Thanks. How are things with Sucrus? All is in order. I can pay him now. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. You'll choke to death. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mmm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the Sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there.
We can go at it here, or at my place. All right. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Life. Sometimes life. Oh, my coin. <laughs> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I know it's him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zygrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Your boy Zygrin sends his regards. By your own doing, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowy non human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Give him here, Sukris. Twirsack! <laughs> with this fighter? Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. Damn so pretty that he can't keep his hands off himself. Hey, 
Whitey, why'd your hair go white? Ooh. Ah. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. Listen. Would you craft something for me? So long. Just yet, but something's afoot. 
Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear sisters Kira and Sheila will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalarch for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't, but I'd rather deal with one sage than the entire lodge. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk.